Today we're going to walk through setting up Airbase Pro. When you first open the box, you'll find the car mount and the instruction card. Keep this for reference later. Please recycle the box when you're done. Airbase Pro has an extra large spring-loaded grip that opens to one side and is designed to hold medium to large size phones. It can also fit heavy duty cases and it accommodates Apple battery cases and even pop socket and eye ring accessories. If you have a smaller, narrow phone, like the iPhone SE, you'll need to use a case to ensure a strong enough grip, otherwise it could slip through. Once you're inside your vehicle, decide whether you want to attach it to the windshield or the dashboard. When you're installing the mount, park your car in a location that's out of direct sunlight and make sure your car isn't too hot inside. For the windshield, choose a spot that doesn't obstruct your field of vision and refer to your local hands-free device laws for allowable locations. First, clean the area with glass cleaner and let it dry. Remove the clear film from the adhesive gel on the suction cup. With one hand, firmly press the base against the windshield, making sure the phone grip is facing the driver's seat. With the base pressed against the glass, use your other hand to flip down the lever. If the base isn't pushed down while the lever is actuated, the mount could shake loose. For dashboards, locate a spot that's relatively flat and smooth and out of your front field of vision. The suction cup and gel adhesive are designed to attach to smooth or lightly textured vinyl dashboards. Don't attempt to attach to leather or porous wood surfaces. It could discolor or damage the finish. Also, never attach the mount over the passenger side airbag. First clean the surface with a household or auto safe cleaner. Don't use a vinyl protectant like Armorall. This can make the surface slippery and difficult to attach. Next, attach your phone by opening the spring-loaded grips. You can use two hands, or when you get comfortable, you can try one-handed. The back of your phone should be up against the back surface. Having your phone centered on the grips will keep it stable while driving. Please use apps responsibly and make sure you abide by your local distracted driving laws. When removing the mount, first flip out the lever. Then with one hand holding the mount, use your other hand to firmly pull on the small tab in back of the suction cup to peel it away from the surface. This can take some effort depending on how securely it's attached. On windshields, the adhesive gel may leave a light residue, which can be removed with a cloth and a glass cleaner. On dashboards, the suction cup may leave a light residue and a donut-shaped indent. You can remove the residue with a vinyl safe cleaner. The indent should disappear in a few days as the vinyl and foam return to its original shape. If a discoloration remains, use a vinyl restore like Armorall and continue to reapply daily until the finish is restored. If you're reinstalling the suction cup and find that it's lost its stickiness or has picked up some dust and debris, rinse it gently with water and mild soap and let it dry, and it should return to its normal strength. We hope you enjoy using Airbase Pro. Airbase Pro has a limited lifetime warranty. For issues or questions, please contact our customer service department.